Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Sevierville, Tennessee and we're excited to be bringing you guys to... Holson's. Holson! Hey, what is a name that starts with an H? Hmm, me. So here are the appetizers that they have. We are gonna start off with a spinach and artichoke dip. They also have nachos, sliders, and chili. Over here they have steak and seafood, sirloins, Hawaiian ribeye, fish and chips, catfish, shrimp, and salmon. Here are the local flavors. They have fajitas, spare ribs, roast beef, chopped steak, country fried steak, chicken marsala, margarita chicken, and rotisserie chicken. And they also have a wide variety of salads. Over there you can see all of the different dressings to choose from, raspberry vinaigrette, Thousand Island, Italian French. And down here they do have pastas, including chicken broccoli alfredo, Cajun chicken pasta, and spaghetti and meatballs. Cheeseburgers are your thing. They've got a bunch of different cheeseburgers to choose from. Also home style sides down here. And they do serve Coca-Cola products. And also, look at that, strawberry lemonade, raspberry tea, and peach tea. Here is the kids' menu for kids 10 and under. It's only $6.99 per meal, not too bad. They have a pretty large selection for kids' menus. Spaghetti, hamburgers, corn dogs. Down here are the sides to choose from. And here are the drinks. They even have non-alcoholic mocktails for $2.79. All right, so here it is, guys the spinach artichoke dip. Look at it just flowing out like lava from a volcano. <laughs> Salsa, chips, bread. Here we go. Jennifer's trying some of the dip now with some bread. Jennifer, what do you think about it? It's so good. It's like perfect creaminess and then there's a little bit of a spice to it, but it's not, it's not a really big spice it's like just enough to give it flavor and depth and everything it looks and like there may be some red pepper i'm sorry to interrupt it but i was just going to say it. it does look like there may be some red pepper flakes that might be in there yeah and it's not too bad like it's just like a good it's a good spice i like it i want to point out that this bread bowl of course this is one of the pieces from the top of the bread bowl it is toasted and it pairs so well with that spinach artichoke dip there is a slight spice to this dip like jennifer said but it's not overbearing. Henry, how's the cheese dip? <laughs> so good you're going in for more. You don't even have anything to say, right? That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> Alright, Gigi, what do you think? The sauce really adds on to it. It's amazing. I got the fajitas and you can choose your meat on there. So I decided to try their flat iron steak. And I love that there's a lime on there. I love lime on my fajitas. And then it comes with your tortillas and then the traditional toppings. And I ended up getting the country fried chicken with macaroni. And you can even see some of those bread crumbles on top, some of those herbs, and the pepper gravy. All right, Gentry, what'd you end up getting there? I got the grilled chicken with fried. It's really good. And honey mustard. Grilled chicken and fries and I don't need my All right, so I did get, um, these are supposed to be like sizzling fajitas, but they didn't come out sizzling as you can tell. Uh, they are still, you know, warm and everything and um, in an okay temperature, but um, you know, normally like fajitas will come out like sizzling and everything like that. So um, I'm gonna try them out. I just made fajita with all the toppings and everything here and some steak on the bottom. So that was a good bite. Um, not my favorite fajitas, but um, definitely good. Um, there's the pico that is on here. It gives this a really, really good bite. Gives it a little bit of like a kick and everything. So it makes it enjoyable. That grilled chicken has a really good char and the fries just add on to it. The fries are crispy. 
So this bite I've got some of the mashed potatoes, the chicken, and a lot of the gravy on there as well. Here is the macaroni with some of the red topping on top. So the chicken is just okay. Nothing special. Mashed potatoes are not my favorite. Um, but the gravy is really good. The gravy really makes up for the lack of the mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes are kind of just pasty, almost like mashed potatoes that you get like in a, a bag that you put in the microwave. <laughs> not like cream of wheat or anything, but, but um, they're, they're different. All right, final bill came out to $77.23 for two meals, two kids' meals, an appetizer, and four drinks. That was Holston's. Henry, what did you think about Holston's? Well, it was good. And the flavor goes me down, but it's cold. You mean it warms you up? Yeah. <laughs> it is a little chilly out here, especially for June. Gentry, yeah. what do you think, buddy? I would say it's a typical place and it's standard. So if you're in the area and you're very hungry, you can come here. All right. And Jennifer. So my favorite uh, things that we had here were the sweet tea. That was really good. Uh, the only thing about that was that our drinks were not, you know, filled and everything like that. Um, our waiter even came back and thought that I had water because mine was down um, that much. So um, that's going to be from person to person, you know, and everything on that. So uh, he was very nice, though. Um, also, I really did enjoy the appetizer. I liked the the cheese dip and the bread and the chips and everything. That was a really good appetizer. My meal, it was all right. It was it was edible. Um, not my favorite fajitas. I've had a lot of fajitas, um, different establishments and everything. Um, these were probably on the lower end of, of uh, the scale on those. A couple of positives, the macaroni is really good. Those bread crumbles were delicious as well as the parsley. After taking two or three more bites of my chicken, again, the, the mashed potatoes were kind of pasty. And then like Jennifer said, going back to the service, the service was just not great. Probably since we've done this channel, the only service that we've really had that really stood out to us is not being that great. But also the food was not our favorite as well. Uh, the appetizer was pretty good, especially with the uh, the bread where uh, it really had that nice good crunch on the outside. I will say there's a lot of places in this town and, and I think that regardless of what time of the day it is or what you're ordering, you have to be able to bring it and deliver it with ex exceptional service and exceptional quality of food every time because there's a lot of competition in this town. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us here in Sevierville, Tennessee at Holston's. And we sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. get to the golf course, you have to ride on a, what is that, Henry? A All right. You guys ready for some mini golf? Yeah. All right, look at that big old plane and waterfall. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And Professor Hackers, by the way, is right next to Alamo Steakhouse. On the other side of this tree line is a Pigeon Forge Alamo. Uh oh, we're going to the blasting zone, guys. Look at that. Alright, so we're going to do the Gold 1932 Expedition Course. Alright, Gentry's up first on hole one. Not a bad start. All right, Henry. All right, Henry is up here. Hole one. Oh, there you go. We've got the lefty up here, Jennifer. Close. 
Right at it. Ow. Ooh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Henry is starting the course like three inches from the hole. Great job, great job. Did you get a hole in one? Yeah, get hole in two. Get a hole in two. All right, moving down to the first mountain towards the second mountain here. We're back to some wide open spaces once again. All right, Gentry, you're up, bud. Henry's getting ready to get his hole in one. He's starting again, three to four inches from the hole. And he gets it in. All right, back here to Gentry. <laughs> All right. Jennifer got it up the hill and this is the one by the way with the pyramid and the serpent on top oh so close there you go we've got another waterfall here Henry is placing his ball to start the course. There he goes. Hole in one. You got a hole in one, boy. <laughs> Did you get a hole in one? Yeah. I was going to say, there's no net to catch your ball. So if it goes in the drink, it's going to go right down this waterfall. All right. Here goes Brent. Hole 15. Here we go. Oh, hole in one! Woo! Happy birthday! <laughs> Henry is feeling confident on this hole and wants to start from a, a much greater distance since it is all downhill. Here we go. We'll see the outcome of this putt. It's looking good. It's got a good bounce. Wow, that was actually pretty close. All right, hit it in, boy. You got it, bud. There you go. Jennifer on hole 17. Hole in one. Hole in one. At hole 18. Okay. I have no idea where that went. I think it went behind the box. This is where Gentry's ball bounced and landed, right behind this box. That was like a happy Gilmore shot there, Gentry. I think you have to play it where it lands, where it, play where it lies. That was Professor Hacker's Lost Treasure Golf. Jennifer, what did you think about Professor Hacker's Lost Treasure Golf? I thought it was so much fun. This is a great family place. The weather is beautiful today, so it's a great outdoor activity for all, all of us. And the course was really great. There's waterfalls. There's just so much fun in the choo-choo train too. Uh, the boys <laughs> that really was enjoyed pretty that cool. and so did we. But yes, it's a great, great time and we got to celebrate the birthday boy and he got a hole in one today. And so did you. <laughs> and I think he got like 18 of them. <laughs> Gentry, what did you think about <laughs> golf today? I really like it. I like every course. I would say if you're looking for a good place to have fun, this is definitely on my bucket list. Yeah, I was going to say, we've driven by this many times, but so fun to be here today and, and to finally get to play on the course that we've been wanting to play on for years now, really. And last but not least, Henry. What do you think, bud? Did you have fun? Did you get a lot of holes in ones? Yeah. My ball went away, so I got in a hole in one, so it went away, so I went Oh, you're talking about, so he lost one of his balls, but we always grab an extra when we play putt-putt because we anticipate that may happen, yeah, and it did. Yeah, my yellow one, it was in change, so. Yeah, we I lost your yellow one. Yeah, I got my blue one. Yeah, we had a blue one as a backup, didn't we? Yeah. But most importantly, did you have fun? All right.
We have driven by this countless times before. We always look over at it. We're like, that would be such a fun place to play. We know so many family members and friends who have played here. And so it was so awesome to finally be able to uh, partake in the fun ourselves today. And so we're so glad that you guys came along with us. Uh, again, lucky I got a hole in one. She got a hole in one. He got 18. And Gentry had many, many great shots as well. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us here at Professor Hacker's Lost Treasure Golf in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. Saturday.